We have a number of prayer intentions today. We ask you to please keep Miss Adelino and her family in your prayers as they mourn the passing of her grandfather. And also Alison Malda, a cathedral graduate, as she also mourns the passing of her grandfather this weekend. And today, in a special way, we are going to pray for the repose of the soul of Mr. Jerry Creedon, who is the adult faith animator for our school board. This past Sunday was Gaudette Sunday, the third Sunday of Advent, when we light the pink candle, the candle of joy. Gaudette is the Latin word for rejoice. A person who radiated joy in our school board for the staff here in Hamilton was Mr. Jerry Creedon, who died on December the 12th. Look at that face. Mr. Creedon radiated joy. He knew every teacher by name, offered thoughtful, wise words of wisdom and insight into the scriptures and papal encyclicals to help deepen the faith formation for all of the adults in our school board. Last week, Father Jeff asked you during our Advent Mass if there have been people of faith in your own life who, when you are in their presence, you feel inspired by them. You feel like you are in the presence of something greater than yourself. For many of your teachers, Gales, they would say that Mr. Creedon gave them that feeling. A few years ago, Cathedral, our school went through some very difficult days. Within the space of two years, five students passed away, two teachers died, and two more teachers were diagnosed with cancer. Our staff needed support. We needed love and wisdom to make sense of these tragedies. We invited Mr. Creedon to come to our staff room every Friday morning for the month of December. He greeted teachers, shared a coffee, listened to us grieve and question why this was happening. Mr. Creedon's deep faith and true joy was the light that shone in our darkness. This morning I offer you part of the Advent reflection he sent out to all the staff in the Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board at the beginning of Advent. There are the poor, the oppressed, the brokenhearted, the unfree, many of them in our own classrooms. Can we be messengers of hope, healing, freedom, and affirmation to our own flesh and blood? The answer to this question is of course we can, and we do. As well as the readings we hear at Mass, reflection on the things we have done in our schools, even since last September, awakens memories of goodness. Our efforts to make each belong, our sharing with those less fortunate than ourselves, our walking together in pilgrimage, our rituals in remembrance of our veterans, our nurture of the earth and its resources, our worshiping together as the one body of Christ, the stilling of our souls in meditation, our looking out for one another in our daily struggles, our rejoicing with one another as we celebrate success, our little courtesies, which are such reflections of the grace of God. Herein, above all, lies the source of our hope, and it is opening the doors of hope that Advent calls us to ignite hope, first in our own hearts, and then in the hearts of those around us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord again. I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is... CHS TV News. Good morning, Cathedral. I'm Romeo. And I'm Alexandria with your morning announcements for Monday, December 16th. Are you applying to college or university for September 2020? Many students have already submitted their application. If you have not submitted, please do so this week. While the official deadlines are not until January the 15th, 
for university programs and February the 1st for college programs, you do not want to wait until the last minute. January will be busy with culminating activities and exams. Please see the LMS for more information or see Ms. Mariella. If you are applying to, applying to university programs, you will need to pick up your personal identification numbers from Ms. Mariella. If you are applying to college programs, you do not need this number. Ms. Mariella has an information sheet with instructions. If there are problems with submitting payment for the application, please see Ms. Mariella. Attention all students traveling to Europe this spring. There is a mandatory meeting tomorrow in room 114 right at dismissal. Thanks for Mrs. Walker and Mrs. Sweeney. Are you graduating this year and looking for a career in refrigeration operating training systems? The Pathway is presenting an $8,000 scholarship to study refrigeration plant operations. For more information, please see Ms. Mariella. And this is a reminder to all Culture of Life members of the visit to your retirement home. Please see Ms. Martris if you have any questions. Student Council would like to thank everyone who auditioned for the Christmas Assembly. The list of accepted acts will be posted by lunch today. All acts on the list must be at the dress rehearsal that will take place on Thursday after school. Student Council is excited to host the Christmas Assembly this Friday. And to celebrate this Christmas season, this Friday will be an ugly Christmas sweater day. The Cathedral Swim Team competes in the City Championships tomorrow at McMaster University. All swimmers are to meet at 7.45 a.m. Warm-ups begin at 8 a.m. See you at the pool. Thanks from Coach Lucier. And lastly, this is a reminder to players on the Junior Girls Volleyball Team that there is a practice right after school at 2.30. And those are all your announcements for today, Cathedral. The, today's optional Advent video is all about the Christmas carol, O oh Christmas Tree. It will begin momentarily on 3.1. Have a great day, Gail. Thanks for watching.